Hey guys, Zeniku here again with another video about Quake Champions. In this video, we're going to talk about how to duel on Blood Run, also known as ZTN from Quake 3. ZTN is very popular because of its importance of positioning and prediction. People often call this the brain map of Quake. If you're a strategic player, this is your map. Before we get into some strategy, let's take a look at the item layout. First we have the Mega Health on the bottom floor of the lower corridor. The Big Armor in the main room. One small armor in the nail gun room. And one small armor near the teleporter. Starting with guns we have the rocket launcher in the teleporter room. The lightning gun in the lower corridor. And the rail gun in the main room. On this map I find 4 champions which are extremely effective. Those champions are Solag, Nyx, Ranger and Visor. Solag because of her movement and the ability to zone out important items with spit. Nyx because of her ability to reposition and catch people out preparing for items. Ranger because of his ability to be in two different places at once. And finally Visor's ability to reposition and catch people off guard. Off the spawn your main objective is to pick up one major gun and one major item. A kill might happen in the first 15 seconds based on your spawn, your opponent's spawn, and the abilities you have available. Depending if your opponent's champion directly counters yours, it's a good idea to change direction and collect the other item if you feel more confident. Ideally you want to avoid your opponent until you have all three guns, or fight your opponent with a gun they don't have. Let's take a look at some common fights over big items. The Mega Health in this version of ZTN is heavily contested, as it can be seen from Shotgun and the Tribolt. With the addition of the Tribolt, it's almost impossible to pick up the item without sustaining a lot of damage, and the angle makes it difficult to return damage and pick up the item. In this situation, it's a good idea to rocket jump up from the teleporter. This way you can easily pressure your opponent as they have a different weapon equipped in. Next is the big armor. Ideally you always want to fight from directly below at railgun or at the tribal position. Although the shotgun platform gives you quick access to the big armor, it gives you very little room for dodging, and more importantly, you run through a choke where you can be easily shot. A solution is to walk from rocket launcher and catch your opponent off guard, or move quickly from shotgun and take control of the tribal position. Now let's take a look at some in and out of control options. When in control, your job is to limit the amount of options your opponent has. Often you're trying to catch your opponent as they exit the nail gun room. Generally it's very dangerous for them to push through the tribal area, so often people will run through shotgun to rocket, or get the rail gun. This is a good opportunity to leave items up for a few seconds, and catch your opponent out as they're trying to evade you. When you're out of control, you're observing what champion your opponent has, what playstyle they like to use, and what weapons you feel comfortable with. When in the nail gun room, you can hear the big armor being picked up, and also the mega health from the top hole near shotgun. As your opponent goes for big items to stay in control, this is your moment to pick up smaller armors or get important guns. Alright guys, that's all the tips I have for Blood Run. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments, I'll be sure to answer it quickly. Feel free to check out my stream which will be at 7 to 10 pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, most weeknights. This is at twitch.tv slash Alright guys, thanks again, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.